Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, yes, I know my voice sounds really weird. I am getting over having the flu right now. So I lost my voice completely two days ago. I got it back a little bit yesterday and I'm getting back a little bit more today. So I know I sound really weird. I'm really sorry, but um, I wanted to take you guys along on a vlog today because we are going to go strawberry picking. It is extremely hot today. It's only like 9 a.m. right now um, and it's already 86 degrees out. I think it's supposed to top out at like 96 today or something. So Bowden really wants to go. I told him we would go before I knew. I'm so sorry that my crazy be in the background. Um, I already agreed to go with him before I knew how hot it was gonna be today. So we're gonna try and get out of the house early. I'm gonna just warm up some pancakes and we're eating, gonna eat on the road and try and get out to the strawberry field before it gets too hot. But um, yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along with us today and show you guys our day. <laughs> Orange is your favorite color, huh? I do love orange too. Of course you don't eat the green part of the carrot. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Donuts. Num num num. What do you think, Bottom? Thumbs up. <laughs> Delicious. Dude, this is literally the best part about coming to this farm by us is the donuts. Every single year, of course, they do blueberry the apple donuts. cider donuts. I don't know if they do blueberry donuts. I'm not sure. This is our first year that we went strawberry picking at this farm. So I'm not really sure if they do this every single year. Um, or what, but we'll definitely go back for blueberries if they do have blueberries. If not, I know another local farm by us that does blueberries that we went to last year. These do not have donuts, but they had blueberries and sunflowers, but we got so much. This is four quarts and we paid how much? I think $18 for this. I think that's a little bit more than, you know, our local Walmart price or anything like that, but these are delicious. But had a ton of them right off the vine um, and he said they were so juicy and good. So we're going to wash these a little bit later, but right now we're going to cool off because literally so, so hot outside. It was really fun for like a good 20 minutes because there was a nice breeze and then the kids were totally over it. So I finished picking. They probably like helped me pick about half of this and then I picked the rest by myself while well, they cooled down the stroller. And then by the time we were walking back, I was dying of heat and we got really lucky because we got the last pack of strawberry donuts that they had they only had one pack left so we got there just in time but we're definitely going to be going back for more strawberry donuts over the next couple weeks because i think the strawberry season lasts i think two to three weeks they were saying so we'll be back for more donuts for sure so if you guys have a farm near you that does strawberry picking i would highly recommend it was so much fun um yes you pay a little bit more but i would rather pay a little bit more and give that straight to a local farmer than to a big box store like Walmart or Target. So it was really fun. The kids had a lot of fun. I think we'll probably go back 
maybe in a week or two and get some more, like I said, um, once it cools down a little bit here because it was very, very hot today. Um, but we had so much fun, so I highly recommend it. It was a great little way to do something fun, a cheap little activity. I'm really excited to go blueberry picking because blueberries are really, really cheap. Last time I think we got like a whole pint for like four or five bucks. We went there and we spent like an hour there and we only spent like five dollars. And then I think they were selling sunflowers for like two bucks. Ooh, I just got a strawberry all over me. But yeah, highly recommend. Super, super fun. Check it out. fresh out of the shower I literally felt so disgusting after that strawberry picking adventure I was so sweaty so I had to jump in the shower but I can't get over this voice like I feel like I sound so ridiculous and I'm so sorry but um I'm gonna put on my moisturizer now because after the shower my skin feels super super dry so I'm gonna put on some moisturizer and then later in the day I'll get my makeup on once this sets in but I've been using this one lately and I really like it I got it from Target it was actually really cheap it's very small of course um, this is what 0.33 fluid ounces. This is by A N Art Naturals Hydrating Brightening Formula Serum. It's hyaluronic. I really, really like it a lot. Um, honestly, I'm not one to like spend a ton of money on my skincare. I know that's probably bad. Like, I know obviously the more money you spend, it's probably a lot better quality, and I totally get that. But this phase in our life, like, I don't know, we got two kids, we're in. A recession I know they haven't really like officially announced that but we're in a recession we all know that we're in a recession um you know we're one income family we do fine of course but like I don't know like I this is just not the time of my life where I like prioritize spending a ton of money on myself as far as like makeup and skincare and hair care and things like that of course I do things to treat myself like I get Botox every few months um and you know I buy stuff for myself here and there but when it comes to like skincare and all that stuff, I just, I don't know, like my foundation is like $12. My makeup is all from the drugstore and that's fine with me right now. One day I will be able to, you know, spend $50 on a foundation, but today is just not that day. I've been on the hunt for some more skincare stuff that is um, more average price, I guess, like more affordable I don't know but it's still good quality stuff um and this was really really great so I've been buying a lot of stuff at Target because um I've noticed that they have more sample sizes of things or like travel sizes which I love to do because I would rather spend you know 12 bucks or 15 bucks on a smaller size thing like this um and see if I like it first and then purchase a bigger one I honestly stray away from like even I found like the lower end skincare stuff like clinical clinical what am I saying <laughs> like Neutrogena and like stuff like that any of the stuff that has like hyaluronic acid in it or anything like that is very expensive and they're like you know a two fluid ounce container and they're like $50 and for me I don't want to do that because what if I hate it and I just wasted 50 bucks so I'd rather get the smaller stuff like the travel size stuff that is you know a fraction of the price and use it for a month and see if I like it and then if I like it I'll repurchase the bigger one so that's what I've been doing this one I really really like it's really interesting so they call it a serum but honestly like I don't even know how I would describe the texture of it like it's watery but it also doesn't like completely run off your hand right away like you definitely have to cup your hand it's very very liquidy it's very thin but then like when you put it on it sits on your skin like a serum for a solid 10 seconds and then it dries and it's like how would I describe this like it's not like a lotion right like you can't like feel it on top of your skin it sinks in really well so I really like that and it dries really quickly so I really like that as well but it works really really well I love it so much if you guys are looking for a new moisturizer check this one out it's really cheap at Target 
Um, I'll link it below, below if I can. I don't even know. I'll try and link it in the description. I don't really know what I'm doing, guys. I'm not like an influencer. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I will um, try and link it below. But I just figured I would share it with you quickly. If you're looking for like an affordable moisturizer, I have not tried anything else from that line. So I have no idea if there's like anything else in that line that's great. But honestly, I really like this one. So I'll probably try a few more things from their line. Um, but yeah, PSA, if you're looking for a cheap moisturizer, try it out, girl, because that's great. Okay, so it is the end of the night. I got the kids down a little bit early tonight before the sun went down and me and Nate Uber Eats to some Buffalo Wild Wings to the house. Um, I already ate. Sorry, I feel like my neighbors can hear me. This is so awkward. Anyway, so um, I already started eating. I already ate like half of it, but I figured I would, um, <coughs> my goodness. This voice thing is like so annoying. I cannot wait until my voice goes back to normal because I'm just like so over it. Um, but I figured I would um, talk to you guys. Oh God, did I just get cheese in my hair? I just missed it. Thank you, God. Oh my God. Okay, I only got a little bit of cheese in my hair. <laughs> no big deal. These are like the negative things about having long hair, but anyway. Okay, you guys know how this went last time that I tried to film outside. The wind was like so distracting. The audio was horrible, so I hope it's not too bad. But anyway, I figured I would um, tell you guys what is going on while I finish my dinner. So, <coughs> Nate and I are um, thinking about homeschooling next year. Actually, I mean, Nate and I are going to make the decision, but it will really be like me homeschooling Boda next year. Um, and we're kind of on the fence about it right now. I would say Nate is like 60, 40 towards homeschool, like 60 yes, 40 no. I'm like 80, 20, like 80 yes, 20 no, to be honest. Um, I want to do some more research, but I was talking to my friend who homeschools and she had nothing but positive things to say about it. Um, they use the curriculum, the bright and the beautiful, the something and beautiful. I'll insert it here because I keep forgetting the something and the beautiful and she said she really loves it so I was looking into it and I was actually really surprised by the price it was not as expensive as I thought it was I thought homeschooling curriculum was way more expensive um, but I was actually thinking about homeschooling last year and decided against it I feel like I can't chew and talk but we decided against it for a few reasons um, the main one is socialization. Bowden is a really, really social kid. He literally wants to have friends over, like go somewhere literally every single day, which is a super big challenge for me because I am an introvert. So being an introvert parent of an extroverted child is really challenging for me. Um, so I try and let him get out as much as he can and see people as much as possible, but we can't possibly see someone and like spend time with people every single day, right? So. In the summer it's easier but in the winter it's really hard but anyway um so that was the biggest piece for me and um he really enjoys school we decided against it last year and we sent him to kindergarten and preschool or in um public school and honestly it was a good experience but there were also some bad things about it i love his principal i love his teacher we had honestly like the best teacher that we could have asked for for bowden's personality bowden definitely needs a type of teacher that's like your typical kindergarten teacher right like sing-songy like very nice and loving and kind and like positive discipline and stuff right um and that's totally what we got so we really won the lottery with his kindergarten teacher she was amazing also love a lot of the staff at his school um and every staff member that he directly had contact with, we had great experiences with. So it was definitely not a negative, but one of the negatives was the long day, seven hours a day, um, which is a long day for him. He was really struggling with that. Um, and it was a lot, it was a lot on him. Um, waking up really early, we had to wake up at like 6.45 every morning to get ready for school, which was not fun. He's not a morning person and I'm not either. So I was not happy about that, but you know, you do what you have to do for your kids. We struggled with some issues with other kids this year, uh, multiple times throughout the year. And honestly, like just what Bowden's picking up and like the language he's using, the words he's using, and I know he's not learning them from his teacher, um, but honestly, like the main struggle is like recess time 
or when they go on field trips and they're on the bus he doesn't take the bus normally but on field trips you do so whenever he's like around a bunch of kids and there's not a lot of adult supervision like recess time um he was just having some i don't know like i don't want to put everything out there but he was having a lot of issues with other children um and it was causing him like emotional distress multiple times throughout the year and then yeah just the things he's picking up and saying and I can just tell this year affected him a lot and he learned a lot like he grew so much this year he learned how to read um his handwriting has improved literally tenfold after the school year was done they give you like a journal of all the entries that they wrote all throughout the year and his first journal entry compared to like three months in even was crazy but like his first to his last was insane a huge 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 change so um he thrived like educationally um, he really did thrive there, but socially, not so much. Um, and yeah, it's hard. And honestly, like I would be lying if I would say that I feel safe with my child in public school in America right now. I know other parents feel the same way as me with um, safety stuff, like everything that went down in Texas recently. Um, yeah, I don't really feel safe to be honest with my kids in public school right now with the way that America is with no changes being made as far as the government goes and um, I'm not really saying like which way I sway if I'm pro anything or anti anything honestly I feel like you guys would probably be surprised about how I feel about all of that but I do feel like some changes need to be made as far as security in schools I think the way we secure our schools in America is pitiful to be honest with you um, and yeah, I don't feel safe with my kids being in public schools right now in America with the way that they are secured. I mean, not secured, to be honest. So yeah, that's a big driving factor for me. Um, but my friend was saying that the program that they use or the curriculum that they use, they love. And um, they homeschool like three days a week for like four to five hours, if that, like four hours, she said on average, three days a week. They continue on throughout the summer because it seems like if they take a break in between, they spend like three months reteaching and catching them back up what they learned last year because it's just too much time off. But she said they do take like a week or two at a time off throughout the year. Like in the summer, she'll just take a week off here and there for Christmas, you know, things like that. They're taking a lot of time off in between and it's much more flexible. So I don't know. I need to talk to Nate more about it. I think I'm going to order the curriculum and just see, like look through it and see what I think, how I feel. Um, and we... At this point, I think we might try committing to one year and seeing how it goes. Um, we do have a lot of homeschool programs here in our town as far as like meetups, stuff at the library, um, and you know, field trips that they take all together. So that's really good for socialization, but it's also in a couple sports. So that helps as well with socialization. But um, I don't know guys, honestly, I feel a little bit nervous about it, but my heart, like my gut is telling me that that's the right fit for multiple reasons um and I just think for Bowdoin as an individual like you know your kids best right and like I just think his personality and the way that he is he would really benefit from that um so I don't know guys we're on the fence if you guys have homeschooled before let me know um your experience if you were homeschooled as a kid let me know your experience I would really be interested to hear from parents and from kids from both sides of the spectrum because i was not homeschooled so i have no idea yeah that's the tea that's the news um we are probably gonna make a decision i really want to make a decision by like mid to end july at the latest i'm kind of feeling excited about it if it you know can possibly happen i think it might be really good for our family it might be a good fit for our family but i don't know we'll see but um, with that, I'm going to end the vlog here so I can finally eat because I feel like I can't chew and talk because it's just like not respectful. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys as always for watching and supporting my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.